that are lighting. Okay, friends. So the official, unofficial start to Xenocon begins now. I'm headed over to registration to get my badge and my photo ops redeemed. I'm so excited. And tomorrow's the big day. So let's head over to the hotel and go and get the stuff. Go get my credentials. I'll give you actually, I'll give you a little sneak peek at the, at the cosplay. I finally, it is Thursday, one day before the con, the first day of the con, and I just got my last piece of my cosplay. So let's just give you a little, I don't know, it might be too dark. Can you see her and all her glory? That's season one Gabrielle. Um, got the bag. I made my stuff. My uh, scrolls are over here. They're in disarray. Can you see? Let me turn on my light so when I get in, it'll be nice and bright because I do have to do some last minute stuff for uh, the props. So like I was saying, the scrolls are in a little bit of a disarray because uh, I had to check my bag and apparently they were a little rough. So I had to stop at Michael's to get some wood glue to fix those babies. And then also another last minute little craft for my Alexandra Tidings photo op. I'm gonna do a little golden apple. So gotta paint it gold, let it dry. Um, a nice golden apple that I'll like pretend to hand to her. But um, yeah, so let's go, let's go. I wanna be online early to redeem this Renee photo op because the con said that it's legit. I was concerned about its legit legitimacy. They did say that it is legit, but they said, you know, the person might have sold it to multiple people. So we're gonna be first in line to get it redeemed to avoid any, ah, no, my bag's ripping. <sighs> to avoid any nonsense of that nature. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're online for registration. Got my COVID bracelet. And a two hour wait, I think. I did bring my phone so I can watch season one. A fan knitted these and left them for other fans to pick out, so I got my Aphrodite one. So cute. All right, all right, y'all. So just picked up badge and my photo ops and everything. Headed back to the hotel. So I'll explain all the stuff when I get back. Oh, finally. Okay, yeah, so back in the hotel room. Like I was saying, when you couldn't see me outside, picked up my badge. It's not really a badge. It's a piece of cardboard inside of a lanyard, but that's fine. <laughs> it has, um, yeah, salute to Xena. It'll probably be backwards. Copper weekend, my seat number. And that's what it's looking like. And then in the back, I got my photo ops. And um, it, I didn't get scammed, yay for me. So my Renee photo op uh, went through perfect. And then at the table, um, I saw that there was a Renee auto available and I got the Renee auto. So 
I'm gonna see her and meet her in person. Um, um, there was a couple left as well as photos. So I, I did not tell you guys, but I wasn't sure if my auto, my photo, my photo op was legit because the QR code was weird and messed up. And I was, everybody online was talking about how their QR codes was messed up and how they got them secondhand. So it kind of put me more at ease, but I did want to be one of the first people to redeem this just in case there was any issues or if the seller had resold it multiple times, didn't want to have any, any issues with that, but it went through without a hitch. So that was awesome. Um, and I, there was a freaking duo, like a couple of duos left and I, I just couldn't, I just, I could not um, justify the cost. It was $200 on top of all the money that I'm already spending, on top of me just literally buying the Renee Auto, on top of the merch that I'm gonna get. <laughs> so I couldn't justify it, but thankfully, there's apparently gonna be another Xenocon in 2024. So I'll have another opportunity. I'll get my duo then. Hopefully there'll be some other duos, maybe like Renee and Alex or a trio with uh, Renee, Lucy and, jo and Ted. Like, so, you know, there'll, there'll be an opportunity for that. <sighs> but all that being said, I'm gonna cut this right now. <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow at the con. Good night. That's coffee. And we are ready. That's where it's located. This building here at the Hyatt Regency. Uh, they say a 10 minute walk, but it's like literally five. It's not long at all. What I will say, what I will say is that it's pretty dark <laughs> walking here. But yeah, ready to go. I was hoping they would have like a, or maybe they will. Last night it wasn't up, like the banner that says Xenocon, welcome, whatever. Maybe I'll put it up today. We'll see. Okay, so apparently it is on level two in all of these convention rooms. Your excitement. Oh, yeah. I know her. Yeah. Like, I'll try to get on. I'll try to get on the cruise. the main theater where everything's going on? This is the line for it? Or no? No, no, no. The line is right here. Okay. And then, can I just check your COVID hand? Uh, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's a line for the Xenocon Convention Center. Yeah. 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 I don't know where my seat is. Oh, look at these pictures. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm screeching. See you, Gabby. Oh, I am, I think, X. Okay. I think this is my row here. And I need to check my seat. I thought copper would be a little closer, but it is not.
Gabby and Jocks are. I hope these people are gonna dress up tomorrow too. I need some pics with cosplayers. Damn, X is all the way back here. 30, I, that's why. This is X. Hello. Oh, I think the signings are going to take place in here, and that's why their pictures are here. Everything is so dark. Can I go to the front? I just want to see what it's going to look like. All these goals. It's so dark. Get married. She does. 
feet is wrong, it says you never get married. At this point, hey guys, you've if you got to the end. <laughs> it's a tie. <laughs> Taking a little food break from the con. I'm uh, going to get some subway real quick. Um, I did take part in a little bit of the yes no trivia in the first round. I'm so mad. I lost on a very easy question. So, in my head, the question was like, is Xena, is Kalisto comparable to Xena's skills? And like, you know, just in every kind of way. Um, but, so that's what I was thinking when I said yes, but it was specifically asking about uh, pressure points. I thought she did know some pressure points, but I guess she didn't. Um, yeah, so I lost in that round. But um, I lasted pretty far into, <laughs> into it much farther than I thought I would. So, that's a win. Okay, so. Apparently, this is gonna be the area for um, photo ops. That's good to know. Okay, so yeah. And if you have a bag, you can have one if you like. Yes. Or are you good? This one. Do you guys need help to try this one? Let me know if you change your mind. A couple of different totes. Which I love. No problem. These 25 years of Cena t shirts. I really like this Gabrielle one. Do you guys need any help finding sizes or are you okay? This one's a little weird, but let me know if you have any questions. I would love a hoodie. Yeah, so this is, this is gonna be really nice. nice small no XL. Sixty dollars. Oh, On this towel, I think I'm should I get this salute to Zena towel? I actually do like it. We have some just random, I don't know what these are. Tote bags, some Dina toys. These are the touch, which is so cool. Some Hercules stickers. Oh, that's a Hercules mug. I was like, that's the Zena mug, and I get it. Oh my god. Look at my guy. Not pins. They have the CDs, which is so cool. Wow, I had this TV guide. Some shirts. Putting stuff out. And then some other stuff here. Who's been a demon, an angel, and a father. Her character taught him the valuable lessons that revenge doesn't put the pieces back together. An apology won't always be enough. And if we spend our whole life chasing that, we miss out on the peace in life. Wow. Everybody, please, a huge warm round of applause for Hudson Lee.
know, I'm like, you see her, and I don't know, there's no answer for that. But it's a great question. What you got? Hi. Um, Hi. I am under the philosophy that villains tend to have the best day ever until they're not. The, they have the best what? The best day ever. They're having the time of their lives until they're no longer having a great time. Yeah. So I was kind of wondering if you had any like positive or funny, fun memories of playing Kalisto. Because you just look like, I don't know if you were or not, but you look like you were having fun a lot of the time. I was sometimes. I was sometimes. Like when I, uh, when Gabrielle told me on it, it was Tartarus, but wherever, wherever Hercules locked me into and she put her hand down into that nice hole and I grabbed, she thought it was Xena. Come on, was she a moron? She sees my arm. Like, <laughs> she knows what Xena's hands look like. <laughs> When she pulled me out and Adam was there that day, I was I I felt like the sun had come out. I was so you look beautiful. I was so you. Yeah, no, that's you. The one wearing the whole get up. Um, I felt so joyful. And there was times it was incredibly fun to be awful and evil and kill things and scream and spit and not be pretty for anybody. They tried to brush my hair when I first got the job. And I was like, nope. <laughs> We're not brushing the hair. Y'all, yeah. what a dangerous idea this was. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna come super chill, eat my food, relax a little bit, go back and get my photo op and possibly go back out to the <laughs> to the karaoke and I got in here and it's warm and cozy and quiet after a long day of socializing and I'm just like oh did I really want to go back out the answer is no but I do want my photo op because apparently Creation is going to charge you to order your photo op if you don't pick it up. Okay, I guess, I guess. Any other con that I've been to that's been included? If you want extras, that's a different story. But the but all has always been included. I do, so I am gonna go pick up my photo op. But as for, I have to do that before eight o'clock. But as for staying for the karaoke, you know, listening to people sing horribly, I don't know about that. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, so the interaction with Hudson was super sweet. I didn't wanna take up too much of her time you know this is not a meet and greet it's a photo I did see people taking up more time than than they should have didn't want to be that person but um, you know she was going for it she she was encouraging it it seemed I guess she knows maybe this will be her last one her last last one um, but it was great she was super cute and um, I'm happy I got to meet her, and fingers crossed that the photo came out okay. Fingers crossed. But yeah, y'all, I will see you later when I go pick up the photo op, or, or probably tomorrow. We can't take video in the in the karaoke, so most likely we'll see you tomorrow for day two. Yeah.